Okay, everybody ready? Abortion should be allowed, don't move yet, in the third trimester. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, let's do this real quick, and then I'm going to change it to the second trimester. Give us your best argument. Okay. Best and, argument. Uh, a baby in the third trimester is a human being, and it is morally wrong to kill human beings. Okay. Okay, first one, you're not your grandmother. What Your grandmother had to be at the age like you. You had to be at the age like a third trimester baby. So it's the, like, it's the process of being a person like and it starts with the con conception and so like, okay it, so it's you're not the same human being as me and okay my as they said i believe that uh, the life starts at the conception so we cannot kill a human being in a life i have a complete other approach it's purely conjectural and uh, pragmatic the demography in our country is collapsing we have to defend at all costs the uh, strong uh, birth rate so I defend by all means the possibility that the, the, the population will increase. How come you're on the slightly disagree line? Um, because I think that in the third trimester something could become known to the, uh, the future mother. Oh, some like, medical uh, problems, some Down's disease. syndrome? Well, I think or? that's screened for earlier. But there's still the possibility that something could be known that wasn't known in the first and the second trimester. So, so, so let's say for whatever reason they did uh, an amniocentesis or what have mm -hmm. you, and they, or, or cystic fibrosis or something, and they, they found that they, they didn't detect it. So the, the fetus was healthy. So the fetus was not healthy. So you would say in those circumstances... I think that it should be an option available to the mother. Yeah. Okay, what about in those circumstances so, that they found a Down syndrome, for, for example, or cystic, something? My, my question would be, what if they found the Down syndrome after the birth? Would it be okay to kill the child after the birth? Anybody else have anything to comment on that? Is it okay to use a condom? Okay, um... I think that is a, a separate question because when we're talking about contraception, there isn't, there isn't a human life yet, but when we're talking about looking at a human life uh, that may or may not have Down syndrome, I think at that point we're talking about a human being in the same way that we're talking about a human being uh, after birth. Okay, so what if someone was standing on that line and they say, yeah, if someone has Down syndrome, uh, as it was rumored that the Romans used to do, mm -hmm. if, if the baby couldn't survive on its own, then that's what it is. Like, that would be a consistent mm -hmm. position. Would you still be against it? I think death is not the solution for Down syndrome. I think there's still dignity in the lives of people who have Down syndrome. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do something unusual. I'm going to, I'm going to, anybody else have anything to add? Because I'm going to do something unusual. Anybody else have anything? All right. Everybody go back to the neutral line. I'm going to change the question. All right, we're gonna do this again. Abortion should be allowed in the second trimester. Five, four, three, two, one, move. Well now, okay. Hi, I'm a biologist. Hi. <laughs> wow, okay, uh, yeah. so tell us why you're here. Um, well, the second trimester is up to six months. Yes, the baby is looking more and more like a human being, but there are cases where the mother... Loud, loud so they can hear. There are, there are cases where the mother, for instance, hasn't been able to tell the parents, and I'm thinking like really young girls who have maybe gotten pregnant and not known they were pregnant for a long time. I know one of, one of, one of my uh, classmates was in that situation, so okay. she didn't know. And, and she had a big debate about whether abortion or uh, to adopt it out. She eventually adopted it out. But I think she, it was right that she had the choice. So you moved. Yeah, I moved because as the, the proposal changed, I think that it's appropriate to have a change as well. Just saying that it's not a pure dogmatic uh, opinion. It's rather the analyze of fact. And uh, if you have, you, you could 
um, observe so some disease or so, uh, uh, from the, the first semester and the second semester. Uh, the third one would be too late anyway. And, uh, but for the second one, let's say that I may uh, understand that um, we, you, you could take this decision just after three months, but not that far, okay. that, that late, that six months. How come you're still on this line? Well, to be consistent, because uh, uh, I believe that uh, life starts uh, at the conception and trimesters won't change that uh, fact for me. Do you also believe what that? Yes, and also they're talking about chance, but like, does that baby have a chance? Like, and I, I know, I know this, this is a cliche and it's something like pro-life, but you really should think about that. Does that what do you? What would you tell her to convince? What What would you three tell her to convince her to, to, to go? Not all the way over. Just one single line to the slightly agree. What do you have anything? What um, would you t What would you I tell her? The, the, tell her. I, don't if, tell me. Well, if I could just pose a question to these two, I would ask: Is a baby in the second trimester a human life? Yes. Hundred percent. Okay. Then maybe my next question. Under which conditions is it okay to end a human life? A uh, disease that would result in virtually no quality of life. So if the, ch the, the child is born is suffering a lot. I don't... Sorry, what was the question? Did I not get the question No, no right? I'm just thinking it but would have to be more than disease too because it would be like brain damage or something horrible, right? Or no? I don't yeah, want to put physical, words, like I'm just kind of thinking. Physical or mental. So okay. Uh, if the, the, the child couldn't uh, live uh, and if he has strong disease, uh, this is, this is a possibility. Um, okay, maybe I would come back to if, um, uh, if the, so if, the, if, if a condition is that a disease that would lead to a low quality of life is a condition for ending a human life, does that also apply after birth? And if so, what is the difference between the human life before birth and after? I'd like to throw a question back. What's the difference between the sperm living? Well, a, a sperm is not a, a human being because there is not a full set of human DNA that will become a human. Well, the male contribution is the full set in the sperm. And it is alive. And it's a potential human being. I think what we're interested in is where consciousness begins, not where life begins. Well, to be honest, I'm extremely pro-life on every level. So I think that uh, one uh, uh, human life uh, equals all the uh, human life on the earth. So we cannot sacrifice... What do you mean by that? Uh, that... Uh, the value of one human life uh, equals with the value of every other uh, lives okay. uh, on the earth and uh, even someone who suffers from some yes yes brain yes. damage or something yes yes uh, so because we cannot really put a price on a human life that, that that's why i think that uh, even a baby has some disease uh, we just ha have we just some don't incur have right incurable to... disease, not just a disease, like some incurable disease, right? Yes, I understand that, and uh, I understand, or, or maybe not. I, uh, I, I'm not in that position, but uh, to de decide that if uh, how difficult that uh, situation would be, but because life in itself is uh, that important uh, for me, I just. Uh, I don't think I have the right to tell that uh, the human okay. being don't have the right to live. Okay. Right. Does anybody have anything else real quick? And I'm going to do one very quick round. Yeah. Um, but the question, uh, what the difference uh, between life before the birth and after the birth? Yeah. And it's something inherited from a very long time ago. In China, they start to come the age of the people from the, the, the very beginning of foundation. For us, it's, it's, it's when we are born. And this is even uh, before Christianity, it was this kind of, uh, of uh, moment that was taking into account. Um, we think that the, the, the question of the importance of life 
uh, it's it's not what uh, what is the core of the question for me because the common good depends to a general harmony, and this harmony you you could um, have better solution. I mean, defending the the human life, it's just part of defending life in general. And life, it's it's linked to to beauty, harmony. So it's it's not a pure, okay. it's not a mechanical stuff that there is a DNA uh, created. So we have to defend it at all cost. Um, they, in we, China, we, though, they, they, they may count, uh, you know, they, they have different, you know, when you're one, when you're two, as opposed to us, but they have more abortions by far, and they have abortions of female babies in particular. So I don't know if yeah. that necessarily translates into a kind of... Of course, but uh, what happened today in China, it's not the long-term uh, uh, history of a civilization. It's the... It's the, the, the strong communist okay. uh, ethic system. Okay. So it, it, it's something really different than Chinese civilization should, could be. Okay, real quick. Everybody, we're going to do a, a lightning round. Everybody go back on the neutral. Real quick. Lightning round, lightning round. <laughs> well, you knew that was coming. Okay. Abortion should be allowed in the first trimester. Five Four, three, two, one, go. So, so you moved over to the strongly agree. Yes, Why is that? Yes, I did. Because in the first trimester, a lot of people, have, well, a lot of women have only just realized they're pregnant. I think they have the right to decide whether or not they want to go through with that pregnancy. All right. Is there anything you want to add for why you stayed here in the first? What about the first day? The first day, a woman, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, in, the, in the last round, you, you made an, an interesting argument that, um, uh, that I, I hadn't heard before, it was, it was kind of fun to hear, that the, like, what's the difference between a sperm and, uh, and a baby? And I might, I might push back on that because I, um, 50 percent of my DNA comes from my mother and I, I didn't have, there wasn't all of the DNA that makes up me until conception, and I haven't gained any DNA since then. It just seems like that's when a new human life began with both sets of those DNA that came together, and that makes the most sense for defining the beginning of a life. All right. yeah, also, Hi. Oh, I, think, go. I think under natural circumstances, which means no event is happening, just, I don't know, everything's the same, a sperm won't, won't be a baby. But, um, a, a, after the conception, it will be a baby under natural circumstances. So the sperm itself doesn't make a baby, and the, but, but that, that, I don't know how, to, I don't know how, how you call it. But, conception. Uh, yeah, but. Fertilization. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it makes a baby, and this is an event from, like, when from it, it will be a baby, you know. Okay, all right. Okay. Anybody else have anything to add? All right, thank you for playing. I appreciate it. Thank you.